Hello and welcome to a review of the Vanderhagen Twist Adjustable Safety Razor. Now, before we begin, be sure to like and subscribe for more content. Now, I got this safety razor because somebody at work had decided that they needed my old Merker safety razor more than I did. And if you're unfamiliar, safety razors aren't exactly in abundance in stores, so this was the only option I had within a several mile radius, and it was the only thing that I could also get on such a short notice. Now, initial thoughts on this safety razor. The packaging itself had seemed like what you would expect. It wasn't like an iPhone or anything special. It did have some safety razors of the same name brand, which I'll review later, as well as a shaving butter. Now, this razor's claim to fame is its ability to adjust, meaning it can either open and expose the blade, meaning a closer shave, or it can close and retract the blade for a worse shave? Not as good, not as close. I'm not entirely sure of the mindset behind it personally, I feel like if you're trying to shave, especially with a safety razor, why give it a feature to have a bad shave? Why not just make it always good? Either way, I digress. The razor itself has a good weight to it and the metal feels smooth to the touch. The method to install the razors is a little different than what I've experienced before and I will mention that because you have to remove the top part with a minor push and the head is held on with what looks like some sort of cotter pin system. Honestly, it doesn't seem all that solid, at least in my experience with it, and I really think it was a missed opportunity to make a more solid method for securing something as sharp as a safety razor. For example, I give my razor a good shake after a shave to remove any residual water from the razor itself, and with a simple flick, I could feel almost the entire head fall off and everything else that came with it, obviously. So this is something that if you do like, like the way that I do it, you need to be sure to keep that in mind. Now, the adjustable head that this thing claims to have as its name to fame is just to simply a rotary dial at the bottom that rotates one to six with one being bad and a shave that doesn't cut very good and a six being a good shave that, well, does what it's supposed to do. So for my first use, I went with my normal shaving method and used one of my favorite razors, a feather safety razor, to start with. I'll put a link in the video for a review of those excellent razors if you haven't used one yet. So first use, I had actually mistakenly put the blade on one and assumed that it was for a good shave. But with at least two to three passes on the start, I was immediately taken back with how awful the shave was. I thought to myself, there's no way that this is actually cutting hair. No way. I stopped shortly after that and touched the area I had passed and it was exactly as I suspected. It was awful. Honestly, if someone wants to pretend like they're shaving or maybe you have super fine facial hair, that might be a decent setting for you. After taking that into consideration, I adjusted the razor to a six, which I had hoped meant good shave. Man, was I underprepared for what followed. The smoothness of the metal was something that I had not taken into consideration when I started the shave. That caused the entire razor to move significantly faster across my face, which was a good thing, but I immediately had to change my shaving technique to account for it. Yes, six was the setting for a close shave. It was close enough to remove two chunks of skin along my neck, to be precise. I'm sure with continued use, this razor will probably give you the same experience, I guess, than a normal fixed blade one would. Now, one of the major cons I discovered to mention in this is these little holes at the bottom of the razor here. To me, they seem like drainage holes because that's exactly what they did. With my normal shaving technique, I would rinse the blade out after every pass, but this blade didn't need it. And that's a good thing, you might think, which I thought so too, until I realized that all the hair that I had just shaved had drained out of the little holes as and was running down the bottom of my neck. I would definitely not recommend this to anyone if you have to shave in something presentable because you will definitely soil it. And again, it may just be my shaving method because I don't use shaving cream or anything like that. 
I went into the next shave a little more hopeful and a little more willing to experiment than I did on the first one. I changed the setting to a 4, assuming that it would have made it a little bit closer to the razor that I had previously. However, again, I was highly mistaken in my assumption. I spent the majority of my shave shaving normally, touching the area to see if it was actually cutting, and then repeating. After a few passes, I had again changed the setting to a 5, which seemed to cut again that yielded better results than the previous setting, obviously. So I'd certain that I'd be able to dye it in correct at least soon. I, again, must admit my frustration of having everything drain out of these little holes down here in the bottom instead of collecting inside the razor. Seems, again, like a very poor design in my opinion. With the next shave, I could finally feel I was starting to understand how this razor actually worked. I still had areas along my sideburns that didn't really feel like it was doing anything, but after adjusting the blade to about five and a half, it finally started to feel normal. If I could make an educated guess as to what the major difference with one of these types of razors is, is I'd say it was probably the shaving angle. If you're used to a fixed head razor like I am, you would probably feel the same thing that I did when you first use it. After I finished the shave, I went to go rinse off again and that's when it also occurred on how much I dislike these little drain holes at the bottom. Again, I found myself covered in the leftovers of my shave. With the next shave and those thereafter, I was able to dial in the razor where I had liked it. It still doesn't make any sense as to why you would need to adjust it because I know I more than likely will never use it after that point. To me, the razor is going to be one that I use probably not on a very regular basis. It's going to be more of say an emergency razor or a travel razor because if I lose it, I'm really not gonna to be too upset by it. So if you're looking for a different razor to change your shaving method, or you're looking for something to spice up your shaving experience a little bit, at the time of this filming, you can buy this razor for 15 to $20 online for a unique, if not messy experience. There are better options out there for less money that will probably provide the same, if not better experience. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts on the Vander Hagen twist in the comments below. Thank you.